everybody. Happy Sunday. Okay, I am jumping in with our best catch bundle. Yes, so we've got the super cute one here. Just a sec. Grab you the framelets. I managed to put them way over here. So we've got some cute coordinating framelets. There's a couple of them not on there because they're we're working with them. Okay. Anyway, adorable. Now this one did carry over to the annual catalog. So everyone's like, okay, great. I'm in no rush. Yeah, you are because you want to save the 10% on it right now. So please don't forget about that as you're going forward. Okay, now that I said I had not lost the dies, hmm, let's go there, there. They're just face down. Okay, you ready? Hi, everyone. Hi, Alana. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Kathy. Okay, here we go. So let's do this. Now, I'm going to admit to you, my final card wasn't quite finished. So I think we're going to have to play a little bit, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so what we're going to start with is we are going to start with this beautiful fish. Anyone know what type of fish it is? Is it a trout? What is it? I don't know my fish. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hi, Jojo. All the crafty friends. Hello, Carol from Nashville. Carol, I need to talk to you. I wanna take my hubby to Nashville next year for his birthday. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp that guy just using my Memento ink. Now, I'm using my Memento ink because I do wanna play with my blends on this one. So I'm going to grab, I want these blends. And then I, so these are my Calypso Coral. And then I've got a little bit of Smoky Slate. And then I think we will go Bermuda Bay. Does that work, peeps? Okay. Your husband said trout. Okay, good. See, but that we need to know these things. I love the fact that you guys know this because I'm like, I don't know. I'm not a fish girl. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to go with my darker Calypso Coral to start. Well, your husband's going to look at my coloring of the trout and he's going to be like, uh, apparently she's never seen a trout because my trout is getting some funky colors. So tell him he just has to deal with my weirdly colored trout. Okay, so I'm going in. I'm using my dark Calypso Coral. I think you know what it is for me. When I see fish, I see salmon being from the West Coast. And I know what our salmon look like when they're spawning and they get all these beautiful colors. So I'm getting a little crazy. Oh, I need to move that up for you. I'm getting a little bit crazy with the colors. Okay, so dark Calypso Coral. Hi, Bridge. Hi, Martine. Bonjour. Hi, Debbie. Okay, come in here. So now we're going to use our light Calypso Coral. And we're going to blend it in. Just smooth your line out so that nobody can see it, yes? Hi, Sharon. It could be a rainbow trout. Exactly. See? You're picking up what I'm putting down, girl. But what colors would trout be? Give me the traditional colors. Check with him, Rosemary. Rosemary, we need a professional opinion from your husband on what colors my trout should be but won't be. But in the future, if I were moving towards them, what color would they be? Look at how pretty that looks. See? How are you not supposed to put pretty colors on your trout? Okay, so here, we're going to come in up here. And I'm using, this is my dark Bermuda Bay. So I'm just going to give them a little bit in here. Do the same thing down in here. Ask him if he's ever seen a Bermuda Bay and Calypso coral trout. He'll be like, what is that? Good evening, green and like pink. Trout would be green and bluish. Yeah, okay, so no pink. Hmm. Oh well, ours is a special, special trout with genetic mutations. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm just blending that in. See, so I just took that dark of the light now, filled the space in. I'm gonna fill that other spot in one sec. And then I'm just blending my line between light and dark but I'm staying away from my edges because I don't want it to bleed out into the non-colored part of the card or non-colored part of the fish or, you know, outside the lines. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Can't think outside the box, but apparently I can color out there. Okay, just a sec. Do -do. I can't look up. Or I'm going to color weird things on this trout. I love it. Hello, friend. Hello, Donna. Who else said hi? What else happened? Watching. Oh, no, someone, he said silver with yellow and red speckles on the top. <gasps> He got together with the salmon. He totally did. Hi, Christine. Okay, so we got those in. Move those off the side. We are now going, we're going basic, or no, smoky slate, not basic gray. We don't have basic gray blends. I like that when I just pull random colors out. I'm like, eh, this is what we're using. Oh wait, no, we don't have that. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in this spot on him. Do, do. And then I'm gonna give him, see where the, the cross hatching kind of, or you know, whatever the shading that Stampin' Up put on for us. As I said, this is the, hey, bonehead, 
put your darker color here. You need shading. That's what we're going to do. Like that. I don't actually think Stampin' Up! is saying that to you. Please don't take that. That's not their words. I'm just saying for people like me, it's a great way to tell where I could potentially be putting some of my darker shades. Yes? Um, I'm a trope fisher and you're doing a marvelous job coloring. Thank you. See, Martine, you are hired. Okay, so we're going to give them a little bit more up there. I think I'm going to go dark right in here. I had to keep, can you remind me to move it up if I get too low? Okay, now we're going light. You ready? Light, smoky slate. Coming into the space. Fill in the dots. There we go. Cut. Make weird noises. Now here, this part's easy because I actually don't really need to do any blending in this zone. I wanted the kind of two colors, so this works well. And then when I get to here, again, I'm just going to fill it. He said yours looks like an Arctic char. Good. Tell him. It's a beautiful Arctic char. I have no idea what an Arctic char is. Can the Arctic char is good to eat? I don't want to eat this fish. Okay, hang on. So now, again, look what I'm doing. So I'm just going over where I already colored, and we're smoothing in that dark with the light and just kind of pulling the color together. Okay, am I keeping him high up enough for you? There. Do do. Hang on, we're almost there. Why do I feel the need to sing when I'm doing this? I think it's because I feel bad because you're having to watch me color. So this is where you can just start singing your Jeopardy theme song. Do 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 do. Arctic char, look at it. Well, there, I know that there is a thing called Arctic char, right? We're not full of it. Okay, I, I need something else on the card that I finished. So I think we're gonna go, I don't wanna put the fisherman's hat on. I think we're gonna go with the little fly. The hook with the fly, is that what it's called? I don't even know what it's called. The hooky thingy with the what, feathery thingies, got it? That, that's what we're using. Okay, now, so we're gonna stamp this one. Ink it up. He looks good, he's pretty cute, isn't he? Okay. So we'll stamp this. Okay, put that off to the side so I don't make a mess. Now, this is definitely getting blue and pink feathers. We're gonna make it coordinate. And that is stunning, what a great eye catcher. See, there you go, you're so adorable. Thank you, Rosemary. I brought Rosemary on to make me feel better today. Okay, so let's come in and we'll do that. We'll give our little feather a little bit of Bermuda. Okay, just a sec, coming in. It is, now, this is a very kind of well-equipped fisherman. He is picking uh, lures to coordinate with the colors of his fish. Oh, see, Kathy, I love you. I saw this and I wanted it right away, which is super funny because I like, I don't fish. Um, but I'm like, it's so cute. And I'm super excited that I'm actually playing with it. Okay. Um, Okay, so we're, this is co color coordinated lure for our fish. Because, oh, now here we're gonna come in. Oh, this is Corey on Kathy's page. Hi, Cor. You're still in your mom's. I know, but Cor, remember this thing, he's still a bundle. So get him while he's a bundle. Oh, Sean's in the kitchen. Can you hear him? Okay, don't ask me what he's cooking. I'm not sure. Okay, come down here, we'll do this. I think this will give me a little bit more to work with on the card, because I feel like I was missing something. We're gonna go like that. Okay, so we've got that. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring in the Stamparatus, and I'm gonna tell you why. So when I stamp, I don't know about you, very fashion forward, totally, it's a fashion forward fish. Say that 10 times fast. When I stamp uh, Memento ink on colored cardstock, I often find it can look very washed out. It doesn't get that like complete, well, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks. Coordinate lure to fish because obviously, absolutely. Okay, so look, so we're gonna ink this up in our Memento and then we're gonna come over and we're gonna stamp a Saurus it. Okay, so nothing wrong with it per se. Oh no, did I wiggle it? Shoot, we're gonna have to find this out. If I wiggled it, I'll flip it over. This is where you know, this is why you use your magnet people. Okay, so here, we're gonna re-ink it. We're gonna find it really quickly whether I, have, I had moved it. That's fine, good. Okay, now this is why I do it, because I find when I stamp on colored cardstock, I never get that like nice, 
you know, kind of crisp image, I hate that word, that you get when you stamp on Whisper White. So I feel like when I use my Stamposaurus, your Stamparatus, that I can actually make it look much kind of cleaner and more vivid. So that's what we're rolling with. So we needed that. Okay, next thing we need. We're gonna have to do a little big shotting before I can do my last stamping. Okay, so let's go to the big shot. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Get all the bits out of the way. Um, okay, I'm using here. So I have a couple things we need to do here. So first one we're gonna do is I need my largest stitched shape circle in Calypso Coral because the whole card is coordinated with our um, very fashion forward fish. Yes, our fashion forward Arctic char. We're gonna roll with that, okay? So we've got that, we need this. Now, I need a smaller stitched shape circle. Do you notice how like I have to say that very carefully so I don't just mumble my words. We're gonna bring him in and we're gonna do him just on there. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I definitely do have some big shotting for this one. This is like a big, big shot card. Wiggle it just a little. Oh, I shouldn't say, whoa, that was bad. You totally just took me right back to like grade nine. Okay, put that down. We don't need that. What's next? Corey, you're in trouble. You get me off track. It's all your fault. Okay, next one we're going to do. Toss that. I'm just making a mess. You should see. I'm just tossing stuff right, left, and center. Okay, die on. Sean, I think the big dog might be wrestling the little dog. Okay. Poor, my poor babies. So I have a I have a 14-year-old pointer. And my, there you go. Look at that. And my 14-year-old pointer, he's amazing with Harley, the spazzy puppy. But sometimes he would like the spazzy puppy to take a very long walk off a very short pier. And, you know, he just is not into the wrestling that the little one requires him to do. Okay, so next we're gonna come. We're going to Big Shot, you ready? Now, with this one, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can do both at the same time. So I'm gonna get this all set up. Do, do. Wiggle it, just a little bit, right, Cora? Okay, and then we're gonna get our little one for our color-coordinated lure. Pretty sure your tracks are cooked. My tracks are cooked? What tracks are cooked? Oh no, I don't know what she means. What are my tracks? Whose tracks are cooked? Okay, we're gonna slide down here. Hang on, I gotta get this in. There we go, perfect. Okay, love you, Andrew, so thank you, Colleen. Okay, tuck, there we go. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, this is where you maybe shouldn't have colored before you run through your big shot on a live in case it wiggles and then you know you gotta start again. But it didn't, cause we're just that good. We are that good, aren't we guys? Okay, so we've got our very beautiful Arctic char. We have our fashion forward fishing lure. Yeah, quite good, it's looking nice. Okay, next thing I wanna do, do I, can I get, oh no, I can't get rid of my big shot. So I have got a piece of Bermuda Bay and we're gonna go with our super cute, what's it, I don't even know what this folder's called. I call it the waves folder because it looks like waves, but we can't use that platform. So we're gonna steal this platform without its base. We're putting one below and one on top. Autocorrect strikes again. Well, I was having fun with the autocorrect because I sent out an email to all my ladies who attend my technique club, just reminding them if they don't have the reindeers, yes, yes, that's how the email said, if they don't have the reindeers for the in colors that are retiring, they might want to grab them this month. Reindeers would be the autocorrect of re-inkers, in case you were unaware. So, when you are emailing people about your re-inkers, please make sure they are not confused and mix them up with reindeers, because obviously Stampin' Up! is now selling reindeers. Oh my gosh, I've lost, I and I didn't proofread it, of course, because what do I tell children to always do? Like, you guys have to proofread your work. Yeah, no, not me though. Why would I do that? Okay, so next thing, we have got there, okay, some of our gorgeous wood cards, um, What's it called? Designer Series Paper. Really, I don't know how they can repair that one. That's actually a staple for the next 70 years. Okay, how much is this one? I'm going to come up a little bit higher than I did on my first card. Okay, now here's the deal. That will drive me batty. I do not like the fact that I've got that. So I'm coming over here. Hang on, you can't see. And we're going to cut that off. It was very satisfying, that sound. Good Lord. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we have got that Calypso Coral Circle. 
Now I would use my bone folder on this if I wasn't worried that I had actually used my bone folder to mix in ink earlier. There we go. That's better. Oh, great. Okay, so here we go. We need this one right here. Okay, so I'm going a little bit Calypso Coral. Now I could make it look like, I don't know, like bubbles coming out of the fish. Could we do that? Yeah, we could. You should have seen the fish on the lake the other day. Jeez, there were like everywhere you looked. You could see fish jumping. Of course, we were not on the water, but nor do we have fishing poles or a license or anything that one would require to do that right now. But still, it looked cool. My kiddo keeps trying to find excuses to stay up to watch you. Hey, tell her. We need her doing Stampin' Up! videos. She's awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. It's 8.30. She's grade... No, she's grade 4 or grade 5. Hang on, Sharon. You told me this. Is she grade 4 or grade 5? I feel like she's grade 5. I feel like she has a late birthday. Do you ever start to wonder if you're crazy and you've imagined these things? Oh, by the way, in my dreams last night, I quit my job, so... I'm glad you're doing this stamp set. I bought it and having you grade five. That was it. That was exactly it. Okay. So we have got this one here and we're going to come in and we're going to snail. Tell her I promise I'll never make the mistake of saying she's in grade four again. That is a major insult when you're in grade five. Just so you know. Don't want to be a grade four. Okay. So we're going to stick this guy down. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Oh, now Sharon, I can, is she still up? Is she there? Good. I can tell her. My grandma, what school did, okay, hang on. My grandma lived on College Street, Sharon, um, by the pit, like where the big baseball pit is. I'm trying to remember what school it used to be there. I knew that. I knew all these things. Um, I think my mom went to Hillside. There we go. For high, that's high school. And my uncle taught at Sir John A. McDonald. I used to love to fish. I didn't know that about you. The things you learn. Okay, so we've got that on there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of snail and we are going to just stick it on the bottom here and slap this guy down. Okay, so we're going to kind of come in and we're doing this because I'm going to cover it up. By Balsam Pit, that's it. And it was Balsam School, wasn't it? Yes, 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 you got it. That's where my mom went to school. That's where my cousins went to school too. I still have family there. And then my uncle taught at Sir John A. And my aunt, I don't know, my aunt taught, she did more of the supply teaching. So she was a substitute, but she'd end up in different schools for like extended lengths of time. Okay. Just a second. Here we go. Pull these off. Eeshk. There we go. So you are the best catch ever. This would be for my husband. Yes. How long did you live here? Okay. So I only lived there a very short time. I only lived there until I was two. Um, because my dad was transferred to Vancouver when I was young, young, young. But, and I lived on Wishart Crescent. Does that make any sense? I lived on Wishart. I don't know where Wishart is. I mean, I know, well, I know where it is when I'm there, but I don't know what it's in relation to. No, you would not love that as much. You lost your rod. You, oops. <laughs> Cor, oh no. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. I, um, so I have to tell you a funny story. When Joey was little, that's my oldest who's now like almost 15, he'll be 15 in a few weeks. Um, when he was fishing, we would take him to the dock and he would take his little fishing rod and he would look at you and he'd go, all done. And then he would just proceed to toss his fishing rod into the lake because that's where one would throw the fishing rod when they're done, correct? Why would you pass it to an adult? You just toss it in. Okay, this is not on my other card, so we're gonna see how this looks. Can we just put, oh, now I feel bad. I feel like I'm trying to take out my sweet little fish. That's okay, he made it but I feel like I need some kind of a twine stuck on there. What do we need stuck on there? I feel like we need something. Okay, so I'll show you. Now, you can see, and now you guys can start. Obviously, this is missing. It's fashion forward coordinating, um, what's it called? High dot. I'm totally casing this card. Thank you, Rosemary. Um, okay, so, but we need something because I feel like the card's not done. And if I feel like it's not done, and I can't, I feel like we can't just add rhinestones. Do you agree? Like. It's a little bit masculine-y for, for some flashy bling bling. Okay, so it says, Addy goes to St. Pius. Ah, you have a hammer shoulder. Yes, Wishart is close to Addy's school. That's hilarious. What a small word. Okay, so you say silver twine would look, ooh, silver twine would look good. And I have silver twine, but where should we put it? Should we put it behind our fish? What should we do with it? Here, hang on. We're going to grab some twines. So then you guys can decide what to do with them. What do we got? We've got all kinds of twine in here. 
got a little copper twine. We've got, okay, so we've got silver. We can definitely use that. The one that looks metal. This one, is that what you mean? Oh, hang on, what is that? Natalie says, love this. Silver twine would look good. Hang on, we've got, just a sec. These are the ribbons that I had out, but I was trying to figure out what to do with them. Like, I know this, okay, this is the one thing I love about this one. Check this one out. So you can kind of disperse it, like pull them apart and make it look like, you know, kind of like netting. But again, I'm like, how? Oh, that's kind of funky. How do you attach it? What do you do? Frayed burlap from Orange Circle. You want me to fray burlap? Do you seriously? Have you met me? I'll probably chop my fingers off doing that. Okay, look at any enamel dots would go. Look, you guys are like, and seriously, this isn't that hard. How do you do this? How do you fray this stuff? Oh, like that. You pull this part out. Huh. Look at that. I'm going to make a mess of that. Okay, so but what are we thinking? Where are you thinking? What, what, what should I do? I'm going to get some enamel dots. Do I have enamel dots? I can't even think. Glue dots, okay? I like that you said glue dots because you've given me some instruction. But glue dots on what? Where do you want glue dots? I could just take... I think I might get some linen thread. You guys are going to be so disappointed in me. I do not get crazy creative with ribbons. I need to like be able to secure them around the card and then tie a bow. Can you use glue dots to attach the netting? Yes, and by netting I'm assuming you mean the coppery netting that I just had my hand in the misplaced. Okay, so there we go. So we could use glue dots, we absolutely could. Yeah, put a little bit on here. Okay, here, let's just hack a, let's chop a bunch off. Grab this. Go like this. Okay, so cool. You like the net looking thing. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so we're going netting. See, we're working. Okay, so we're good, but we're gonna pull it apart because I, I like it better where it looks kind of like funky. Yes, the brown ribbon netting. Look at a piece of burlap under the best catch. Cool, we can do both these things. Why? Because we have two cards. Okay, so well, I kind of like how it looks when you do that to it. Oh, look at how it kind of rolls over. Oh, that's fun. Okay, but, okay, so hang on. We're gonna do on one card, I have to focus, because seriously, this is like a disaster. Here, we're gonna take this for Alana. Mom caved, I'm watching now. <laughs> nice job. Mom caved, I love it. Well, school schmool. This is a school teacher saying that. I'm totally kidding you, I shouldn't say that. Make sure you're ready for school tomorrow, young lady. Okay, here, hang on. And then I'm gonna come over here. And then we're gonna go like this. Okay, so that one we got a little bit of burlap, okay? That one's missing his color fashion forward. Tie it between two circles of burlap. Tie it between two circles. Oh, like in there you could, yeah, absolutely. I feel like I wanna put this on here. Will you guys get mad if we put this on? But how do we do it? Do we just like smoosh it on? Kind of like crazy like, what do we do? Tuck them. Mm -hmm. Look at this, I'm kind of playing with it. Do we just wedge in? I don't think I have the brown wood, but I'm pretty sure I have white. I would move the fish up a bit and put the hook down below it and attach the twine. Okay, so hang on, you want me to do this? Do you like this? Do you like how we kind of go into like a group motivated card? Okay, we have to get this guy up without ripping the card. The, the rule is, is if it rips, we just stick it all back down and we pretend we never had the conversation. Okay, so you think I should put my fish up higher do do and then have this yeah yeah it's okay he'll work there he'll work there down lower I feel like I want this stuff on my card somebody tell me how to put this stuff on my card wrap it around the small circle how I can't wrap anything around a small circle I can't wrap things around circles I can't tie them around circles Sue obviously you have got more coordination than I do I can't tie things in straight lines Okay, hang on, I wanna wedge, I'm gonna wedge some of this in here. I'm just gonna play. What I might end up doing is getting off, going and figuring it out. The hooks are usually lower than the fish. Okay, so we've got the hook lower than the fish. Is that better? That works. Okay, so I've got the hook in the right place. Okay, covered that detail for a non-fisher. Roll this stuff out. I feel like I wanna tuck this kinda of in my reeds. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, don't get mad. Just roll with me, if you don't like it, huh? The netting would look best on the card without the hook. Okay, well we can put it on both. Okay, but can I put netting and burlap on? 
I feel like I'm getting carried away. Okay, I'm gonna put these on. I can totally hear one of you at home right now going, seriously, like, what is she doing? Look, she's wrecking her car. I'm totally, I'm sure that's what's happening right now at home. Okay, there. And we'll do a little bit of there, but I can't have that like that. There, we're gonna tuck you under there to hold you. Got a little bit of netting back there. I don't know. Well, it's okay. It's not fabulous. Okay. But this guy's totally naked. And now it needs something. Okay. <laughs> Should we put this on the fish? <laughs> Look at this. Is, this is called a video gone wrong. Watch. Should we put the note? That is not a politically correct card. We're going to put the fish in the netting. No, don't do that. Okay. The netting looked great above the fish. Well, big help now that I've got a glint. <laughs> okay. We're leaving that one as is. But I, I know what I am putting on it. If I can find some. I am gonna look for some. I have some. Ha 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 ha. I knew I had some of these. We're looking for some metallic sequins. I know I'm so much help. This is the point you sit and laugh. Yeah, well, this is the point that I sit and laugh. It's not just you. This is what happens when I don't come up with a full card in advance. We're all like, do this, do this. And then I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. And then it's like a bunch of five-year-olds because I refuse to do what I'm told. And if you haven't realized that about me yet, huh. Okay, so now we're peeling these off. Woo! Sharon, you gotta tell that your daughter this is what happens when I get told what to do. I just start changing it. Okay, so hang on, we're gonna stick you on. I feel like, I really need my take a pick tool. Just a sec. This is when your take a pick tool is like dreamy. Watch this, so we're gonna give it a little bit more. Okay, I want black, so I'm gonna go, look at that, ha, huh. I want black. Oh wait, look, I have black, but I want this black particular one. Okay, I'm gonna throw you on because I have black there, hmm. What other one should I use? Do I have a clear one? Or should I just use another silver? We'll go silver. There. That's how. What, that's what's happening to this card team. This is what we've got. This is what we're rolling with. So we got our funky little fish. There we go. Our Arctic char with this fashion forward coordinated lure. Uh, a mess of netting that I wedged in behind because I really wasn't sure how to do that. And then we've got our cute little metallic rhinestones. Look at her. Please don't encourage her. I need to get more embellishments. Oh, you got to have embellishments just to pull out when you randomly can't think of things. This one I'm going to go play with. And I'm going to see what I can come up with to kind of finish him. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have an awesome night. And I will see you this week. Bye.